it was purely an industrial village. You meet fishermen, those fishing at the Sakumono Lake itself, and then those on the sea. Yes, you know, the, the, the lagoon is just adjacent to the sea. There's a bridge on the, on the Agratama Main Road. Yeah. We devised the, 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 the lagoon in the sea. The lagoon is very, very important for the, the Sapporo village people. Uh, it gives them a lot of fish, and they don't actually have any work there. It's only the, the fish which they use to catch and sell. That's what they need for. Sakumo Ramsar site is about 3,600 hectares of land with the core area as part of that 3,600 hectares. Recently, we've had people who have been encroaching and selling lands within this Ramsar site. The Sakumo was chosen because among the coastal Ramsar sites, it is the only one being owned by the government of Ghana. And then we realized in recent years, um, there has been a lot of pressure such as encroachment, pollution, and a lot more due to high rates of urbanization. People see the adjoining dry lands of the lagoon as a prime area for development, for physical development. So therefore people move in to build houses. Uh, in fact, there are a lot of uh, normal human activities such as people going in to do church activities. I decided to place some places as a mechanic workshops. Uh, there are also areas where people go in to do activities that uh, pollute the area. Uh, others go in to win sand or destroy the vegetation. As an opinion leader, I believe it's people who are bringing these uh, problems to Sakumono. People decide to throw uh, litter you know, into the lagoon. Some, somebody will sweep his house, carry it in the box, come and dump it in the, in the lagoon. So the lagoon will dry up. First, <laughs> Si si ko mesi enyon te ke ni dwe wale ni dwe je ni ba ha fa mi fe e wa ka meti anando ko ndoko 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 e ja ke o na fa ko ni o ba fun ya ko ni o na lu e wa ni e fe na kan inso ni wo ke ya wo inso le hun e ke re nyon mo ni aya inso wo sakumo wo tu mo ni nya ba cha mi nya ha wo nya ba cha sakumo mi nya wo Koni efe le tomo boli blema e yo koni wona sika sebi sakumo no ni wo yo wo be ni tumo ni tumo boy se ame be ko iso no ke fa wo won pa nyefa nye ba fi afa nye ha wo na ne wo pi wa de che we are suffering wo pi e ja ke because without fish e wo nye shi wota ni iso o je pefe be the GMS Africa is a project being funded by the European Union and the African Union. It seeks to use Earth observation data to provide natural and water resource services and marine and coastal service. Thirteen consortia were created to see to the realization of these services. The Center for Remote Sensing and Geographic Information Services happened to be part of the consortium led by CSE in Senegal. The restoration of the wetland is very, very important because there are so many people who depend on the wetland. This project by GMES Africa will help us get the information that we need 
to be able to make decisions that will affect the wetland and also go a long way to restore the wetland. One of the things that we may realize from the information we get from this project will be the fact that we would need to dredge the lagoon, which is currently, as you can see over here, really, really, really overgrown with reeds and other invasive species. Other things will also be also to rehabilitate or reclaim the wetland by planting trees, including mangroves and other important trees that will also serve as a buffer to prevent further encroachment into the Ramsar site. We are making a lot of advocacy for interested organizations that will help restore the place and your outfit now, as we are here to take certain information and other things, we believe that when you come together with the reports, government will see the necessity or the need to keep the Ramsar site that is supposed to be. Never na fi emi plan agba fe drana le gin agbogulesi ademi pla koko ba pla eh lutu si pla mu kata yo pla na pla sabala yo ve drana le gin agbogulesi enyu yo pona ga pona po fa ma kata nje na manya fi ya o na ka minya ye tanchi anurugo ta mi pona fi le to fa ma fi agoji pa ata mi le di mi chi ala ka mi le jiro as our contribution to the project, we have trained some indigents for mapping farmlands to ensure food security. We also have um, developed an information portal which will also aid in decision making. Once a project of this nature is coming on board to give or collect data that can feed into decision making to control or support uh, make this uh, uh, wetland stay, then it's important for us to, to do so. So yes, everybody is welcomed by way of uh, sharing this idea to, to save our wetlands. <laughs>